Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Sagittarius. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Yeah, it is raining outside. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, but let's see. Ooh, page of wands. There could be some form of news or communication coming through for you. Um, I, I feel like somebody here wants to express themselves. I feel like when it comes to you as well, there's a sense of renewal in your energy, Sagittarius. Now, before I um, continue, there is a link in the description box to the extended if you're interested, okay? And I will be giving you your oracle message as well towards the end of the reading. Show me what's going on with Sagittarius. Show me. Yeah, the world card. So you're closing a cycle. Empress, two of cups here. Ooh, ace of cups and the lovers. Ooh, the Queen of Cups. Okay, Sagittarius, you're attracting somebody in your life. I mean, look at these cards here. The lovers. There's a soulmate connection here that you're possibly manifesting, Sagittarius. But right now, you're going through this phase where I feel like you're ending a cycle. Okay, you're closing a cycle. And you're doing what you gotta do. Okay. Um... That's that. There's this energy of completion or also an energy of achievement, okay? Um, for some of you, there could also be travel involved. Because this world energy can talk about ascension. It can talk about endings and new beginnings. And, you know, that happy period in your life, okay? And if right now, if you, if you feel... I bet this is Eight of Cups, right? <laughs> That Eight of Cups has shown up for almost everybody in these readings. So what I'm really getting here with the world and the Eight of Cups is that um, there is something here that you're walking away from. There's a realization here, okay? And it is it is thinking from heart, but at the same time, you know, using the brain and being like, okay, there are just certain things that are not worth my time and energy anymore, and I'm not gonna let them bother me, you know. So with the Eight of Cups and the world, it's it's I'm getting an energy here, um, Sagittarius, that you're very much done with something. You're in this energy of Ugh, I'm done with it, you know. Um, Let's see. Okay, so I do feel like in the past there was some form of a missed opportunity between you and somebody. Maybe even there was lies or deception. But it does look like there was a missed opportunity or something just got delayed. And you got tired of the, you know, of the situation getting delayed. I'm really getting here that something was testing your patience here. Okay. Um, Nine of Pentacles can talk about um, satisfaction. It can talk about independence. Okay. It can also talk about inner peace and your sense of achievement. Okay. So I do feel like you're in this energy here of I'm, I'm good by myself. Okay. A lot of you are taking pride in your achievements. Um, and with the Ace of Pentacles energy, yes, there has been a lost cause here, but a lot of you are now looking forward, okay? I feel like you did shoot your shot. Like, there is something here. There's something here that you maybe tried to fix, and then you were like, you know what? I tried to fix it, but it, it doesn't look like it was fixable, so I'm just done with it, okay? Um... For some of you, you need to be careful of not being in touch with the bigger picture. Or I don't know if that, that is something you already went through in the past. Because I feel like in the past, there's something that happened. Like you were very much determined to make it happen. And you weren't really looking at the bigger picture. Okay. 
um, something here is telling you to create a strong foundation. Okay, be be careful of any any sort of bad financial decision. Okay, but I I do feel like spirit is telling you here to um, prioritize things correctly. Okay, especially if there has been a missed opportunity already. This is not a time to repeat mistakes or to repeat what happened. Okay. Show me more, please. What's happening for Sagittarius? What is the challenge? What is the challenge? You're unhappy about a certain situation or a love situation. It could also be a family situation. There's some, yeah, there's some form of a, a you know, this energy of, uh, um, there is this uncomfortable energy surrounding a relationship here. I feel like for some of you, your biggest fear was that something is going to happen in a relationship, and it did. It did. Why is the Ten of Cups um, Sagittarius's challenge? Why is that their challenge? Ace of Cups. You need to open up to love. Okay, with the Ace of Cups, I do feel like you're not, like emotionally, I don't feel like you're feeling very satisfied. But Spirit is telling you, Sagittarius, to be receptive to love. Sometimes that Ace of Cups can also represent our own energy, our inner self, and our connection to our higher self, okay? What is the Ace of Cups about? Let's use another deck. What is the Ace of Cups about? What is the Ace of Cups about for Sagittarius? What is the Eight of Cups about? Last Shuffle. What is the Eight of Cups about for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, your challenge here is to give up on a situation um, that lacks stability, long-term, anything, actually. Because I do feel like in a certain relationship, there's like the something, I don't know, some form of stability is missing. But Spirit is telling you to not carry the burden of the situation anymore. It's like a lot of you need to learn to look forward and be receptive to something. Even though there is a relationship that, that may have not worked out, Spirit is telling you to still be receptive and not lose hope. Because you have a couple of tens here and tens represent endings and new beginnings. So there is a major cycle here in your life that's coming to an end. But with that, there's a lot that's also coming in for you. Who's coming towards Sagittarius in love? Who is coming towards Sagittarius in love? King of... Oh my goodness. Okay, there has been a person here who was toxic uh, with the chariot. Maybe there was a long distance relationship here. I do feel like there is somebody from the past here you've had a connection with, but it, it almost looks like there is a sense of like, hmm. The devil can also represent obsession. So let's see, what is the devil about for um, Sagittarius? What is the devil about for Sagittarius, please? Mm. <laughs> 
there is a toxic dynamic with the pause person, Sagittarius, and I feel like you are choosing to leave it behind now. But this past person is still very much attracted to you with a chariot. They may even be reaching out very soon. Um, I feel like even though there's apparently no contact, and I do feel like you got tired of waiting for this person, Sagittarius. It's like in your mind, the situation with the Ten of Pentacles, you always wanted things to, to work out, but they didn't. And now that you're making up your mind that, okay, I'm done with this, or I'm going to, you know be by myself this person comes in because i feel like with this person what what seemed to be the case was that you often felt like you were pushing things okay this person is coming in i feel like this is somebody you have not communicated with in a while They're definitely feeling like they're not getting their way with you or they're feeling like there's lack of hope with you and it's kind of like bugging them. And this person knows that, okay, so I feel like Sagittarius, I don't know if you have blocked them or deleted them. It does look like this person knows that they have to make some like corrections in their behavior if, if they want to communicate with you, okay? Otherwise, it does look like your energy is very pulled back. And I do feel like their ego is getting in the way. They know that they would have to sacrifice their ego to come forward and change something with you. And I feel like this is somebody, Sagittarius, who's been thinking about you. Like, you've, you've been on their mind. What is the advice for Sagittarius in regards to this person? Of course, a more in-depth reading about your person is in the description box if you're interested, along with your career messages. It keeps telling me that no. No. You know the truth about this person. Uh, don't become a don't become an option for somebody. Okay, with the star reverse and the ace of swords reverse, this person can say anything just to get anything from you. Like literally, that's why it was like even in the past with the ace of pentacles reverse, ace of swords reverse, this relationship seems to be a missed opportunity, and there's still lack of hope. Ace of swords reverse can also talk about misunderstandings. Unless somebody really owns up to, to their stuff and somebody's really like in this energy of I'm going to take responsibility for my actions, how are things going to change really? You know, how are things supposed to change if somebody keeps behaving like this? Um, what should Sagittarius focus on in general in their life? Show me and their outcome. Empress, focus on yourself, your growth. Um, focus on manifestations. Focus on, again, your long-term stability and things that pay off. Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy and then you're getting the Empress. So it does look beautiful, okay? Things are, things are very much headed towards a positive direction here. Um, and from the place of Empress, we only attract. So you never know what you're attracting, but a lot of it also, uh, a lot of it also comes uh, from the realization that I deserve it, you know? You should focus on taking a step back from certain things and to gain some form of perspective. Don't make rushed decisions. Um, a lot of you need to approach a certain situation the way it should be approached instead of approaching it with I hope, okay? There's, there's a need for logic. I'm going to be really honest with you, Sagittarius. There's something here that is requiring for you to step back from your emotions and look at it straight from a logical perspective or like cut to the chase kind of an energy. And if you need your time with it, then take it. What is the advice for Sagittarius? Okay. What is the advice for Sagittarius?
ten of cups and okay it's 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 to overcome that challenge okay with the king of pentacles energy a lot of you also need to prioritize yourself first because i feel like the biggest lesson in your relationship has been to prioritize yourself and not the other person so much you have king and queen of pentacles so a part of your advice here is to also you know look for a person who matches your energy like be with a person who like you don't have to chase and you know this looks very promising honestly with the queen and the king of pentacles together and the ten of cups but the queen and the king of pentacles were apart they were not together okay so one came from the top of the deck and the other came from the bottom so i feel like this is something that is not in your life right now or there is definitely an energy here that is yet to be balanced the divine masculine and the feminine so you do have to look at your life and see where you're overdoing things or where you are expecting for something to happen that you deep down inside know that is just not worth it seven of wands i do feel like um like there is something here about boundaries i feel like you let somebody really use you okay Or you felt used by them because you were giving them the benefit of the doubt. Let's see what is the oracle message for you, Sagittarius. Show me what does Sagittarius need. To do. Show me what is there for Sagittarius, please. Show me what is there for Sagittarius. Oops. Some of you could be signing a legal contract or there's something legal going on. I feel like it's going to go in your favor. Um, show me what I need to see for Sagittarius. Indecision reverse. This is a time to make a decision. This is a time to not limit yourself. Number 8 and number 24 could be significant separately. Number 2, 4, 6, and 8. So those are even numbers. I'm getting here that there's something here you're going to... It, it, it's not a time to beat around the bush anymore and with the adjustment possibilities it's it's about not limiting yourself a, one door may close for you but another is going to open you know let's see what these cards are saying indecision number eight Which choice to make? This card marks the presence of two or more possible choices. Um, uh, when this card comes in the reverse, it indicates a newfound freedom from indecision. You have either recently made or are just about to make an important decision. This is an important time, so bring clarity of consciousness to your new direction. The fragmented and confused energy that you've been sending out is gone and now you can bring new structure to your plans and your life. You may not have known what to do in the past, but your soul has been trying to guide you all along. So open up to the potential of this time and create some clear and powerful intentions regarding your new choice. Then let yourself move forward with purpose and personal power. Affirmation, I release fear and move forward with courage and trust. I have the power to direct my own destiny now and always. This is also telling you to take your power back. That's about it, Sagittarius. Those were the messages that showed up for you. I hope that you were open to receive these messages, and I hope that you got something out of the reading. The extended is going to be linked in the description box below if you're interested. Take care and bye-bye.